and now coming to the fifth question mm, a student proposed a hypothesis a hypothesis is uh, less number of students are born right so let me hide at this less number of students are born in the first half of the year than in the second half of the year this is what the important point is that is a hypothesis shows that less number of students in the first half of the year that means january to june and the second thing is it is less than it is only less than but not less than or is equal to this is not the case then the students born in second half of the year which is july to december the number of this uh, the total number is less than this total number right this is what the hypothesis is and we need to prove that to be correct she wrote the following procedure which choose uh, which uses the scores data set to verify the hypothesis the procedure may contain some errors find out the errors if present okay let's go through the given procedure arrange all cards fine a and b are being set to zero this is also fine if pile one is empty fine read the top card if date of birth is from 1st january to 30th june okay then we have to increment here this is also verified and now if date of birth is from 1st july to 31st december 1st july to 31st december yes this is also correct move the current card to another pile called pile 2 and repeat from step 3 this is an iteration right this is also correct and now these are the only two options these are the only two steps that are left for us for verifying whether if they are right or not okay so let's verify these two steps okay, very carefully if a is greater than b then declare the hypothesis to be true but what is a here a is from january to june b is for the students number of students who are born between july to december so if a is greater than b but here the hypothesis is that a is less than b here it should be a should be less than b so if a is less than b we cannot declare the hypothesis to be true this should have been false because when a is greater than b it is a false right so this is a mistake line number 8 i mean or the step number 8 is a mistake step number 9 if a is less than is equal to b then declare the hypothesis to be a false again if you see here it is less than b but we have we are declaring this to be false this must be a true here right and moreover despite this being a true if we consider this to be a true what you need to observe is that here there is an less than or is equal to symbol here there is a less than is equal to symbol but the question is asking us only for this condition which is a is less than is less than b if this is true then the above one this should also have uh, this should also have a greater than is equal to b if this is if the line number 9 is correct then line number 8 should also be right therefore these two are not matching and this is also an error right so c and d are the answers here where in which they are described to be step 8 to declare hypothesis as true is incorrect correct this is the correct option and step number 9 to declare hypothesis as false is incorrect this is also correct option with respect to the finding error question okay guys and now here comes the seventh question the following procedure is executed using the olympics dataset 
let us highlight this it is the olympics data set arrange all cards this is now we will be going through the define procedure all cards in pile 1 good maintain variable x and initialize to true we have to note down such important points one second guys i will write that very clearly true and if pile 1 is empty stop the iteration it's the top card in pile 1 if the gender is female here two mandatory things are was first is gender and nationality is korean then set x is equal to false we will be updating if this is the condition then x will be updated to false so what are we being asked here we are being asked that when will x be true or in other words in a, in a question terminology x will be true if and now out of the four given options we need to find out the correct suitable one which will satisfy the required answer which is x being a true so first option is there exists at least one female player who is not from korea if you think in this way at least one female player who is not from korea let us take that there are 10 female athletes if uh, if there is only at least one player means greater or is equal to 1 as there is an is equal to let's take is equal to 1 if let us uh, let us consider this uh, this one non korean athlete to be at the third place then absolutely after placing this into pile 2 we will visit the fourth card which is a korean which is a korean female then it will be then the final result will be false right therefore this is not the option this is not the option guys then there exists at least one female player who is from korea if this is this is what is leading to a false condition see here we are having an athlete belonging to korea to the country korea then this is false this is what the question stated and the same has been given in the options as well therefore you can uh, uh, to, uh, therefore you can eliminate it from the right option list all the female players are from other countries other than korea right as here we saw this is a mandatory condition we are we are setting x to be a false if she is a korean if she is not a korean then it will always be a true then this is what the answer is we require only this answer right therefore c is the answer here c is the answer